for Shaka Masters, lifting spirits and giving encouraging words has become an everyday reality. I can only imagine how hard and difficult it is for a lot of my employees, but I can relate to it. Masters is a manager at Fred's and says because of the new Affordable Care Act, his workers are losing hours by the minute. Now that they've cut it into part-time and hours, it's affected a lot of the a lot of the workers that depend on possibly having 25 hours or more during the week. He says out of the 24 workers, the majority of them work part-time, bringing in less than $10,000 a year, a hard life when you're supporting a family. Morale is a little low, but um, we try to encourage them to understand that there are sometimes other opportunities for them to possibly get full-time. And that's just one way the new Affordable Care Act will affect middle class Americans. John Crew with Strategic Healthcare Partners says there are options out there. The idea that everybody is going to have to buy health insurance is not accurate. There, there are going to be a lot of exclusions and you, as an individual you want to find out whether you're part of any of the, eligible for any of those exclusions. Under the new Affordable Care Act, all Americans are required to secure health care insurance or face a penalty. Uh, for 2014, it's $95 for an individual. It's $47.50 for each uh, dependent child, up to a maximum of $285 for a family, or 1% of your income. He says those who choose not to get health insurance through their employer can buy it through government-run health insurance exchanges. If your employer continues to offer health insurance, and your premiums through your employer are not more than the government's requirement of that percentage of your adjusted gross income, then that's where you buy. Cruz says people buying health coverage through these exchanges will be eligible for federal subsidies in the form of a refundable tax credit as long as their adjusted gross household income is between 100 percent and 400 percent of the federal poverty level. If for any reason you don't um, you don't, you don't uh, file it on your tax return and, and it's determined, the IRS determines that you were, you should have been penalized. They have the ability to take um, out of any future uh, refunds, they have the ability to take those fines out of those dollars. But with all that, he says there is a question you should ask yourself. Is my employer going to continue to offer health care coverage or is this, are they going to use this as an opportunity to get out of offering health care coverage? Cruz says the biggest obstacle facing the middle class is not being educated on how this new law will affect you. Franklin White, Fox 31 News.